Nathan Harrell, women's soccer, joins us. This is the start of your second year. Last year was a bit of chaos. Nothing reflected on you, but yeah. just the timing of everything. And of course, when there's change. Sure. But, of course, the timing, and, and you were moving mm -hmm. a lot of people, by the way. You have a very large family. Yeah, we got a few. Yeah, there was uh, – so just talk, talk about – the difference for you personally as the head coach going into this, your second season as opposed to the first? I think the biggest thing is just a little bit more of uh, understanding of expectations and uh, continuity within the staff. You know, everybody was new. Mm -hmm. um, me and my wife have been coaching together for a while, but adding um, Coach Cal and Coach Mello, um, having Leah as our GA, mm -hmm. uh, everybody was new, just trying to figure everything out. Um, you know, roles, responsibilities, who can, where everybody's strengths were. Mm -hmm. But um, being able to work through that and definitely the travel schedule for the GMAC. Yeah. Working on logistics and being on the bus for so long and going from hotels to cities and things like that was a little bit different. But I think the uh, the biggest thing is kind of that continuity and having an understanding. And we you get the spring and, and summer to kind of really hash out details that will make it more of a uh, steady kind of progression mm -hmm. for us in our sport. We say um, tactical periodization. So our, our schedule is a little bit more um, defined. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the things that I, I look at this, like you came from Emmanuel, mm -hmm. which was not in the Gulf South, but Correct. was in the region, right? Correct. So. Yep. You played a lot of these schools, recruited against a lot of these schools. So, mm -hmm. of all the coaches on the staff right now, you may be the one most familiar with what's uh, going to be what it's going to be like this year. Talk yeah. about that. Maybe an advantage you have that that gives you not over you know, any of our coaches, but right. over someone else moving this direction. Yeah, I think the the southeast part of the United States is big for women's sports and, and big for women's soccer. So, uh, Emmanuel being in Georgia. Um, you know, we're basically replacing West Georgia. So mm -hmm. uh, we played against them every year, played against Valdosta State a lot. I know those coaches really well. Um, but just like the region of recruiting that a lot of these schools get these players from was where we were also recruiting. And so having a, that understanding, style of play as well. Um, Lee, we played against Lee every single year. When I was a student athlete at Emmanuel, we played against them as well. So that is has always been a thing. So I think... Um, going from the GMAC to the Gulf South is a little bit more familiar, and just travel will help a whole lot, um, being able to have a little bit more time to rest and recover and, and yeah. prep for the next match. Uh, you've been here a year now. Talk about maybe you probably had a little more time, like you said, to reflect. You mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of time to reflect last year, like going in and, and really until maybe the summer. But – What's different about Trebekka? What what about Trebekka surprises you now as you look back that maybe you didn't see coming in? Uh, I think that we have a big upside. I think that the the nature of Division Two sports, um, you see a lot of schools that have a lot of similar um, challenges that they have to deal with, and I think that Trebekka has you know challenges that we have to deal with as well. But I think location is huge, especially for women athletes um, being easy access to, to go home if they need mm -hmm. to, but then also having a, a ton of things available for us. The campus itself has, you know, a great feel to it. It is, you know, a great community, um, but there's a lot of stuff at our disposal. So I think that will help attract, you know, higher calib caliber student athletes for us that are a good fit. Um, but just looking into, I think the support staff and um, admin wanting to win is something that matches what we want to do, but do it in a way that um, has character and we want to do it in a way that represents, you know, who we are and our Christian values. Being able to, you know, match all that together is a really big upside. Two, two last uh, kind of talking points. One sure. of them is going to be talk about the team retreat. It really seems like Kylie talked about it in an interview with her, but I've heard other people talking about the retreat. Uh, retreats are great, and everybody, they make impact. But it seems like this one maybe had a little extra for you guys. And then also just talk, you talked to them a little bit, but talk about your coaching staff just real briefly at sure. each one. Yeah, the retreat was uh, something that we as um, coaching staff and other schools, we've done a little bit, but not to this extent. Um, you know, being in Nashville is great, but you have 
it's good to kind of get away from that. Um, and when we were looking at options for retreats, most of it is, you know, people coming here for vacation. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't the fit that we were looking for. So we went out, kind of went into the, the wilderness a little bit. Um, but uh, Coach Bess organized all of it. And, um, you know, Coach Grace, our GA, helped out a lot. Being just having that female mm -hmm. kind of connection uh, that w us as men, like half of the stuff goes over our head. So yeah. it was really good to have that holistic approach. And really it was centered more about who they are as people and who we want to be as a group. Um, the three C's that we talk about, we want to uh, commit, connect, and compete. So commit is, you know, doing the things that aren't always easy, but mm -hmm. the connection is really huge for us and just being really intentional with that. So we spend a lot of time with um, just being together, eating, fellowshipping, things like that, but then also um, just having a, a place where they can connect. Um, and for us, like we talk about being Christian scholar athletes is definitely having that holistic approach. So it was really great having that. And then... You know, the coaching staff, like I said, has <clears throat> a lot of strengths. Um, so, you know, Best does a really great job of, you know, connecting and having that holistic approach and and being like the mama bear a lot mm -hmm. of times, uh, coming in and just checking in on the players, doing that. But she's also our strength and conditioning fitness, mm -hmm. so she can push them. Um, Grace does a great job because she's a former athlete. Um, she played for us last year, and she played at Lipscomb for her undergrad so she mm -hmm. is understanding what all that entails and having that balance to do that um, and then coach Mello is a great addition that we had last year and it's just been a blessing to have everybody connected he has a passion for the game yeah. he views it a little bit differently than I do which is good because if we're all the same then it gets boring yeah. but he has that Brazilian uh, passion that goes with it and we want to win and we want to be the best that we possibly can be and so I think just playing off each other's strengths is really, really important. And like you said, I think we had time to kind of hone in on those things and not kind of cross over each other too much, but mm -hmm. just keep pushing each other in a good way. All right. That's Nathan Harrell, women's soccer, live on Flow Sports.